Welcome back to my recap movie again. In the opening scene we are introduced to Captain Vic Current Connor a renowned and skilled pilot known for his courageous emergency landings currently in Dubai Vic Reg arrives at his hotel after a successful landing and receives a call from a friend who invites him to a club initially Current declines the invitation saying. He has a flight to coach and scheduled for the next day however when his persistent friend continues to insist he gets in upon entering the club Vikram notices his friend staring at a beautiful woman whom he considers to be out of his league but Vikram to certain that he can seduce her with his good looks so he proposes a bad saying he can get the woman's phone number if he loses you will buy his friend of the car but if he wins he will take his favorite motorcycle the guys live on a different planet earth t. Can I do the friend promptly agrees and so the challenge begins after drinking a few rounds Vicar and confidently approaches the woman and entices her with smooth talk then he gets her phone number and convinces her to join him at his friend for party the three then dance all night and have a great time perhaps there's even an Eiffel Tower in Dubai before returning to their respective hotels in the early morning unfortunately because of all the drinking Vickery misses all his alarms and falls behind schedule he is eventually awoken. By a call from his wife who reminds him about their daughter's upcoming birthday however Vic Grant who is known to have an exceptional memory assures her that Nina is the date very well as the time for departure draws near. Vikram hastily prepares himself and makes his way to the airport concealing his tired eyes behind sunglasses upon arrival he meets his co-pilot Tanya Albuquerque and they briefly discuss their upcoming flight day. Then engage in small talk before boarding the Skies Line 777 aircraft once everyone has arrived via current addresses the passengers providing them with important information about the expected duration of the flight the distance to their destination and the prevailing weather conditions it's almost like any other normal. Flight and the people appear to be calm but once the plane is airborne and reaches a suitable altitude dude Vikram activates the autopilot mode and goes to sleep can he do that after a short period of time and engine alarm begins to beep and Tang struggles to identify the cause fortunately Vagrant wakes up and quickly resolve the issue using his sharp wit he then calls over a flight attendant and requests a cup of black coffee saying he is still feeling drowsy you he also whispers the name of a specific medication flag which she understands and prepares for him when Vikram finally received his coffee he retreats to the restroom momentarily soon after he returns to the cockpit yeah he doesn't engages in a brief conversation with his co-pilot as time passes it begins to rain heavily with flashes of light lightning and thunder when the pilots check the fuel meter they learn that the airplane still has 4800 kilograms of fuel moreover they estimate that it will take them approximately 45 minutes to reach coach and meanwhile at the coach and air traffic control office there is an elderly staff member by the name of Mr. Tripathy who continues working despite his weak health as the flight years its destination Tanya contacts the coach and a TC to seek permission for landing however Mr. Tripathy informs her that the heavy rain is significantly reduced visibility on the runway leading to negative response he can have to hold up to you upon hearing this Tanya consults with Vikram regarding whether they should proceed with the flight or attempt to the landing she also lets him know that their fuel reserves are decreasing by the second but to her surprise Vic Current asserts that they will proceed with the landing despite the challenging visibility conditions Tanya then relays this message to the ATC. Notifying them of the critical fuel situation as a result Mr. Tripathi finally grants them permission to land on runway number 27. Eight come on in now it is only a few minutes until the landing but the rain has become even more violent this sadly causes the aircraft to lose communication with the TC forcing them to abort the landing and fly again in the next scene a worried Tanya proposes to Vikram that they consider landing in Bengaluru as a highly secure option she calculates that they I need 3300 kilograms of fuel to reach there and they still have 3900 kilograms remaining however the current disagrees and says that they will be. Heading to their original destination he then contact the coach and ADC to seek permission for landing a request that Mr. Tripathi grants but unfortunately the degrading weather once again blocks their view of the runway now now with time running out and people starting to panic Vikram swiftly alters the flight route to the adjacent city of Trivendrum the plan is to land there as soon as possible however unbeknownst to him the Trivendrum AC is busy informing other airports to deny any flights bound for them due to an approaching storm at the same time Mr. Tripad his health begins to deteriorate him not feeling good and he is replaced by another staff member this staff member is unaware of the crucial emergency information received from Trivendrum on the other hand anxiety grows among the people awaiting the arrival of their loved. Once as new spreads about the flight diversion inside flight 777 the condition is even more severe the path passengers have become restless asking the flight attendants a series of questions one of the passengers on board happens to be an aviation journalist who senses that something is amiss when he informs the others about it they all begin to panic and start screaming the situation soon gets out of hand so Vic Grant himself is forced to come out of his cockpit and take charge with a calm voice and a rage ring boner he urges the passengers to collaborate saying that they all share the common goal of reaching the destination safely meanwhile at the Trivendrum 80. The staff members are relaxed assuming that no flights will be landing until further notice.
But much to their dismay they suddenly receive a landing permit from Tanya who's aboard Flight 777 the staff nervous the question her whether or not they received the storm emergency notification issued by the coach and 80. They further explained that the visibility on the Trivandrum runway is significantly poorer than in coach and implying that it is impossible to land they suggest Bengaluru as an alternative landing option but Vikram informs them that they did not receive any emergency notifications he also alert them of their critically low fuel level hearing their conversation. Inexperienced Tanya begins to scream but current manages to keep her composed as the aircraft and years the runway the turbulence intensifies sending both the passengers and the flight attendants into a state of panic this finally convinced the Trivandrum ADC that it's now or never so they grant the aircraft permission to land on runway 16 Vikram slowly brings down the plane and attempts to touch the runway but the wheels lose traction at forcing him to abort the landing and ascend once again following this he informs the ADC that they will make another landing attempt but this time on runway 34 hearing this the ADC officials become worried and question the pilot's decision revealing that the wind direction on 34 is horribly unsuitable for landing to anticipate that the plane's tail may be ripped off but Vikram it still does not budge with the be all running out quickly he has to take matters into his own hands after preparing himself mentally fit granted instructs the passengers to hold on tight as they are preparing for an emergency land he then shockingly closes his eyes at Glides the plane to the ground as safely as possible eventually the aircraft touches down and begins skidding it almost reaches the end of the runway but fortunately comes to a stop in the nick of time. This is how he touched down with his buddy last night to in this way Vagrant has miraculously managed to land the plane safely despite the extreme circumstances however the complications do not end there in fact they have only begun Vikram Tatani. Find themselves facing an investigation by the Directorate General of Civil Aviation or the DG Ka due to their extremely risky landing the DGC thoroughly examines every aspect of. The flight including the made a distress signal issued prior to the landing following the investigation at SIA officials relay the unfortunate news that one of the passengers an elderly woman passed away due to a heart attack after this. The investigation findings are forwarded to Nary and www. A strict head of aircraft accident investigation bureau AIB he will now be in charge of finding the culprits and punishing them meanwhile Vikram struggles with guilt as he blamed himself for the old woman's death. He feels that he could have done a lot better to help his passengers shortly after the current receives a distressing call from the deceased woman's daughter who calls him a murderer she mentions that people like him should never be allowed to fly aircraft it's after the call ends the grant tearfully returns home where his wife attempts to console him reminding him that if he was not the pilot the incident could have been even more tragic meanwhile marion and his investigative team examine the black box and gather all the information so that they can catch the guilty party later the current receives a notification from the ab summoning him for the investigation that will take place the following week then he gets a call from Narian who asks him to prepare for the upcoming proceedings however Vagrant calmly responds that he has nothing to prepare for as he has nothing to hide in the next scene we are introduced. To the director of Skyline Airways named Nishant he appears to be happy due to the substantial rise in his company's share price following the earlier incident however. His expression quickly changes when he learns that Marion will be the one leading the investigation according to Nishant Nary and conducts his investigations in a manner that leaves no chance for the accused to escape amidst these events. The airplane incident gained significant coverage on television opinions diverge with some blaming the pilot for the war one's death and others commending their decision as the best under those circumstances in a fascinating twist none of those. Commenting our pilots themselves the scene then transitions to Vic Rant Antonius. First trial which has taken as a high-profile case Marion asserts that the captain was leading the flight while exhausted having undergone a week of non-stop flights he explained the pilot errors often stem from feelings of homesickness however. Vikrant defends himself by drawing a parallel with soldiers who fulfill their duties faithfully despite being separated from their families for long periods Naria and then presents Vikrant with a bottle of disparate a medication accessible only to cabin crew and pilots he suspects that Vikram consumed this drug. Seeds to use a lie detector machine to prove his point but surprisingly the captain successfully passes the questioning without any issues leading to an adjournment of the first trial later that day a meeting is conducted by the Skyline Company where Nice Shant and other higher-ups advise Vikram to remain silent during the trial in order to avoid jeopardizing the company's reputation however the captain refuses to comply which prompted addition to threatened him with blacklisting from the entire aviation industry he also issues the same morning to Tanya before storming out of the place during the second trial Marion subjects Tanya to a series of questions that leaves her struggling to choose your words carefully under the pressure she reveals that the captain had red eyes before the flight and had taken a nap shortly after takeoff furthermore she discloses their disagreement over selecting an alternative landing destination when Vikram claims to have had sufficient rest prior to the flight Marion unexpectedly presents the woman from the Dubai club she reveals that they had been drinking and partying and Eiffel towering and until 6 in the morning too. 
Captain does not deny her account and explain that he still managed to rest throughout the day. He highlights that the flight rules stipulate a 12-hour drinking ban for pilots before flying and that the time difference between the end of the party and the plane's takeoff was approximately 15 hours, which proves that he hasn't violated the rules unwilling to give up Marion Endless its out veterans' mistakes from that day including hovering over coach and for 33 minutes and feeling the plane below maximum capacity in response to Captain emphasizes that pilots aren't rule makers but rather rule followers and no responsible pilot would risk the lives of their passengers nary. And then shifts his attention to Tanya who then accidentally reveals the startling fact the vicar had landed the plane with his eyes closed this gives an area and the perfect opportunity to highlight the captain's irresponsibility. Furthermore, he raises the issue of choosing the wrong runway with these points raised. The second trial concludes with at any defense from Vic and when he returns home his wife accompanies him to the house of the deceased passengers. Daughter Lot of Vikram is in a terrible mood at the moment he offers his heartfelt apologies to the daughter's loss. The third day marks the beginning of the third trial just before the verdict is announced via current explains that he possesses a photographic memory of runway number 34 due to his landing experience there to validate his claim he requests a reenactment of the flight using the flight simulator. The judge approves this. And in the next scene we see Vagrant taking control of the plane with a blindfold covering his eyes. Marion is also there in the co-pilot seat as he wants to inspect everything carefully but the his shock the blindfolded Vikram manages to land the plane without even breaking a sweat. Finally the judge comes to a conclusion and Mr. Tripathi is dismissed for failing to relay the emergency information will be able to he deserved it while Vicar instantaneous pilot licenses are suspended for three months only. Additionally the IB announces a strict investigation against Skyline Airways. The scene then shifts to three months later when Vicar and returns. To flying at the airport a flight attendant from Skyline approaches him and confesses that she was the one who had consumed the desperate out of fear she reveals that she had wanted to confess earlier but as a single mother she was scared about losing her job. Vagrant asked for Viagra after all the current empathizes with her situation and reassures her advising her not to worry with this he proceeds on his way and the movie comes to an end. Plus subscribe for more videos like this turn on notifications. For get more video. Thank you for watching this video.